In this video, we'll be just looking at some general information about angles. Our first thing that we're going to look at is just the angle of measure 234 degrees. And we're first asked to sketch that angle in standard position. Now, in order to do that, we need to realize, first of all, our quadrantal angles we begin at 0 degrees here at the horizontal, and then the vertical is 90 degrees, and then the horizontal on the negative x-axis is 180 degrees, and then our uh, vertical uh, on the y-axis in the negative direction is 270 degrees. And then we could go back up and have 360 degrees here if we wanted to, or needed to. So for an angle of 234 degrees in standard position, it'll have its initial side on the positive x-axis. So we'll begin at the zero. And then we need to rotate around our coordinate plane um, we're going to go 234 degrees, so we're going to go more than 180, but less than 270. So our angle is going to have a terminal side here in this quadrant. The next thing that we're asked to do is uh, draw an arrow representing the rotation. So this arrow would be initial side here and then around to the terminal side here. And the angle measure then is indicated right here, 234 degrees. Right. The next thing that we're asked to do is find the measure of one positive and one negative angle coterminal with this given angle. So to get a positive angle, we can take our 234 and just add a complete revolution, 360 degrees. That'll give us a positive angle of 594. Now this isn't the only answer. This is one answer. You could add two revolutions or 720 degrees if you want to. Then to get um, a negative angle, we could start with our 234 and subtract uh, one revolution. So 234 degrees and subtract 360 will give us a negative 126. So this is our one positive and this is our one negative. Notice the 126, the negative, would be in this direction. We could show it right here. Because a negative angle, you go clockwise around, starting with the positive x-axis. So this angle, indicated with the red arrow, is a negative 126. And then our last thing that we want to do with this angle is give the quadrant of the angle if applicable. Now we know that um, we start when the po x is positive and y is positive. This is quadrant 1. And then we go in a counterclockwise rotation. So quadrant 2 is here. Quadrant 3 is down here. And quadrant 4 is here. So our answer to this problem, the quadrant of the angle, uh, would be quadrant 3. Now notice that... Uh, we use Roman numerals to indicate the quadrant. Let's look at some more general information. This time we're given the point 
4 radical 3, negative 4, and we're asked to draw a ray from the origin through the point. So um, our x value is positive, and our y value is negative. So we would go 4 radical 3 to the right, and then down 4, and our point would be right here. And we want to draw a ray from the origin through the point. So our ray would look like this. Next thing that we want to do with this is indicate with an arrow the angle in standard position having least positive measure. So that angle, for a positive angle, we start with the positive x-axis and go in a counterclockwise rotation. So our least positive measure would be shown with this arrow. And then the last thing that we want to do with this point is to find the distance r from the origin to the point using the distance formula. Now we want to go from the origin to the point, and that distance we're going to call r. So what we want to realize is that we have a right triangle here. So we can use our distance formula. The origin has coordinate 0, 0. And our distance formula is derived from Pythagorean theorem. So if you don't remember your distance formula, you could also use Pythagorean theorem. The distance formula is the square root of the x coordinate minus the x coordinate. Quantity squared plus the y coordinate minus the y-coordinate, quantity squared. So our distance then is the square root of 4 root 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. When you square a product, you square each of the factors. So 4 squared is 16 times radical 3 squared is 3. And then negative 4 squared is 16. So this is 48. plus 16, which makes our distance the square root of 64, or r equals 8, since they're calling the distance r.